welcome back as part of the next video in the module 2 we will discuss about the working with delta tables so in the module 2 basically we are discussing about different concepts uh, in the del uh, in the delta lake and when you talk about delta lake uh, so how do you create a delta lake uh, using a delta tables how do you update the records how do you insert the records so that's quite important uh, to understand so we will discuss about uh, delta tables in detail in this video and uh, before uh, proceeding if you are uh, new to this channel and haven't yet subscribed for this channel uh, we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notifications so let's get started So as you can see working with delta table is uh, pretty simple so why we are telling it is simple is uh, so if you have already worked with the uh, sql kind of a programming language or a scripting language uh, it is quite similar to that or if you are uh, a data engineer or if you have worked closely with the uh, hadoop or big data like hive uh, hqls right hive query language it is uh, very similar or uh, very close to that uh, and you can use the similar syntax and you can understand uh, uh, it very easily so that's why we call it is a very simple uh, concept to understand the delta delta tables right and uh, delta tables are uh, i mean used to create both uh, managed or managed and unmanaged tables so managed are the internal tables and the unmanaged are external tables which will be mounted uh, to the external uh, sources i mean external uh, data sources like any cloud sources or any data lake storage or well, s3 bucket for that matter right so we will discuss uh, in detail about uh, this managed and unmanaged table and delta tables uh, in the future videos but uh, we will start with a simple delta table concept in this video which is uh, mostly a managed tables that we have got right so if you don't give any location any 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 location or any path the external path so that is nothing but a managed location so by default uh, we call the managed location uh, will be stored in the dbfs that is databricks file system and uh, in this uh, video we will see uh, a quick demo about uh, creating and dropping the uh, delta tables and how do we qu query basically you can uh, select the select the records insert update delete the records and upsert the records so we will see this uh, different options uh, in this demo so as you can see i have created a workspace i mean a notebook in the workspace which is a python uh, workspace and you can switch to a sql if you switch to a sql so it will uh, just put a tag uh, like yeah it, it has converted that into a sql notebook see because we are using a, a sql kind of a programming here like to create a tables right so we are using a sql even in python using a python you can create a delta tables so but the most uh, uh, like easiest way is to use a sql but uh, we will also see in the future videos how to create a table uh, delta tables using python scala you can pretty much do that as well so in most of the production scenarios uh, like a python scala will be used to create update insert the records into the delta table because you need to parameterize the things it is not just a query the table or update the table right you need to parameterize those parameters as well but to start with uh, understanding the tables so it is better to start with the sql and uh, so how do you kind of create a table right if i want to create a table so it is just like a similar to sql where i just write a create table and i can write students right and uh, just to make it more uh, readable i'm just putting into a new line but you can write it to a single line as well and a student can have id which is an integer and student can have a name and it can be a string and uh, you can have a value which is double right so with that uh, i mean it is just uh, we'll put a close with semicolon to make it uh, more uh, syntactically correct okay so and then if you see if you're running this query it will definitely create a table here and uh, since we are not created any cre given any location so it is created in the databricks file system right so don't get confused if you are new to the concept of external table internal table that is managed unmanaged tables so we will discuss in uh, future videos but uh, keep in mind whatever table you create in the databricks uh, without giving any location explicit location it will be stored in the databricks file system so as you can go and see here uh, there is a data and uh, in default databases the student table has been created and if you can click this table you can see the see the 
couple of stats about that table i mean history whether when when what when the table when the records were inserted and uh, uh, deleted or merge so everything we will see as a different versions here so this is used for a time travel and as you can see it also gives the schema and also it shows the records if there are any records currently the table is empty right so and also i was talking about the databricks file system where exactly it is right so physically these records are stored in a databricks file system if you go and click here create table you can see here dbfs and uh, you can click on user hive warehouse you can see there is a student uh, table i mean student folder is created which will be uh, physically uh, which physically stores the data of the students uh, table that we just created right so we'll come back to our notebook that we were using so now that we have created a table right so we can also have a, a one more uh, option of creating a table that is so we will use the same uh, syntax exact same syntax but only thing what differs here is uh, we will just use if exists so with that we are telling uh, like if it is exists i mean uh, the table is already existing sorry it will be if not exist so if the table is not existing then we will create it okay so now you can see it ha it shows it's executed but it is not actually executing anything because the table is already existing it it just skips this execution and so shows it successful right now uh, how do we insert the record into this table that we have created right we have created a table with three columns so that is the reason we are giving uh, three comma separate three values which are comma separated here so the syntax is insert into the table and then the values is again a keyword and uh, this should be uh, like separated by a comma separated and a bracket enclosed right and uh, at finally you can have a semicolon so if you see like it is very similar to the sql kind of a programming uh, or scripting what we can call right so now if we execute uh, so you'll be able to see the records are being inserted to this and you can see the number of rows affected inserted it shows some stats about that and now i'll try to query the same table to check how the records are inserted right you can see the records are inserted and uh, if you want to make it id uh, order by id you can give so uh, like it will order by the id and you'll see one two three right so this is how exactly i mean uh, you can insert the records here so you can see we have inserted uh, i mean we have inserted three records using three different insert statement so we can also uh, kind of a uh, use single insert statement and insert three records how do we do that let us see let me take a new cell here and put this and uh, the fourth record uh, we will insert as and uh, so just comma separated again we can have a one more record here so it will be like five right so if i uh, insert these two records so like as you can see right like uh, so only one using one statement i'm inserting multiple records here and i'm able to do that and now if you go back and query so the both the records are inserted and you can see five records yeah as the next thing we will see about updating the record right how do we update uh, records which are already existing in this table so now uh, update and the table name whatever table name we want to work i mean uh, update so this syntax is also very similar to the sql syntax what we see right and uh, like say for example the value is like say 1 2.5 3.5 and 5 something like this right so wherever it is like a, i will check wherever it is like a 2.5 i want to update uh, like to 3.5 
so what I'll do is like a value equal to 3.5 where value equal to 2.5 so wherever it is 2.5 I'll make it 3.5 so once I update this statement execute this statement uh, so it's giving some error so what is the reason for this so I made a simple mistake here it should be students so now if you see uh, like update has run and if I come back John was having 2.5 so now I'll execute and check what what will be the value so you can see it's updated now 3.5 right and uh, similarly if I want to update all the records right uh, to kind of uh, increment by one one marks right so I can just comment it out using double minus symbol here and uh, wherever it is value I can increase plus one value plus value equal to value plus one let us try this right and this executed and uh, you can see the number of records affected is five that means all the five records are updated now and if you go and execute this you can see all the values are increased by one so this is how the simple update works so next uh, we will see about the deletions like how do we delete the records uh, or one or more records you know from this uh, delta tables right so this is also very similar to uh, like SQL kind of programming language uh, delete from and then you give a table name that is students and then if you don't give any I mean uh, condition it deletes all the records so which we don't want to do that so that's the reason we should be very careful when you are doing the update or delete so the where condition uh, is necessary where, where and when is required otherwise it will update all the records I mean if you accidentally forget putting a where condition it applies for the all the records in delete and update so let us give the where condition here right where uh, I want to give name equals to like whatever like Alisa right so now I want to delete a record of Alisa so as you can see the deletion is running and it's updated and one record has been updated and if you go back and see the select statement here you don't see the Alisa right which is the third record is missing yeah so that's how you delete a record in a table right? without with where condition without where condition if you delete you'll delete all the records and uh, next we will see about the merge concept in uh, delta tables so merge concept is one of the sophisticated uh, uh, concept or the sophisticated operation that you can use uh, in delta tables uh, so merge is nothing but uh, you have a concept of like up upsert right which allows update and inserts and other uh, data manipulation as you can write in a single statement so that makes sure i mean as we discussed right it's a asset compliant so asset compl compliant is nothing but whenever there is a multiple updates or multiple inserts happening simultaneously on a particular record so like delta table will handle that so one of the best example is uh, using a merge uh, query like uh, let's take an example so suppose you have a table here right you want to do a upsert for this table currently we have uh, like four records here and if you want to do a merge or upsert concept in this table right so what we can do is uh, like let us see let's create a new table right okay so let's take a temporary table create or replace a temporary view so we will just create a temporary view here called updates and it, it is having a like id name value and type so only the type is extra column where this column says whether to insert or update or delete whatever you want to do right if the record is abi uh, and uh, uh, the thing is you can see here uh, uh, like uh, Abi has been updated to 2 and uh, Sara has been idea has been updated to 7 and Sachin uh, idea has been updated to 11 and the, even the ma even the values has been updated right so basically it is a insert or delete or update let's take example we will insert a, some new record here like carry so let it be a new right we are doing an insert here so with this case uh, if you let us create this uh, update table right and uh, let us bring the old table also old table store 
table i mean which is an actual table that you want to merge to right that is a student's table so you can see like the, we are already having like sachin abhi john sara and wherever it is like they, they i mean uh, we want uh, the sachin particular sachin to be like updated and other things right like let us execute the merge command now and uh, basically after executing it will be easy to kind of uh, explain that let us execute this and uh, meanwhile it is executing if you understand uh, merge like uh, the syntax of merge is merge into the main table and you give the alias name and using what using i mean using is a sub table right or the child table where your updates are stored and then definitely you need a key condition where you want to match the key conditions like where the ids will match so id should match and when it is matching and there is a updates required right so then first thing is id should match and then you will have a update and delete and uh, whatever you can do right so now if you see uh, the ups, uh, uh, updates what we were having right so what it exactly does is it will just check the ids here and if you see none of the ids are matching so if none of the ids are matching so if by the syntax what merge will do is uh, it will just uh, i mean insert any new records right if it, ids are matching and then there is a then only it will go to the next condition and check whether it is a insert delete or uh, i mean insert or uh, insert or uh, kind of update or insert ins uh, update or delete right so if id is not matching then there is only one condition that you can do is insert okay so now you can see the number of affected rows is 2 the number of updated is 1 deleted is 1 and inserted is 1 okay that means uh, you can see there is a only one record uh, has been inserted to the updates uh, table that we will see i mean sorry the students table so if we execute the students table now you just see the exact copy of the same but uh, we just see the one new record here okay and if you closely observe uh, the previous and the new table right so there are couple of changes here so in the in the old table in the main student table what was there uh, this was the records right there are four records which was sachin abhi sar john and sara right and if we come come down and see the updated uh, table you can see sachin abhi abhi so there are two abhis here right and what had happened here is uh, sachin abhi john sara still there okay but uh, abhi uh, there is a one more abhi has been inserted and uh, you can see the updates table you have seen right the two the id two is matching with uh, john so that is the reason the john has been updated to abhi because of this update table right so existing john has been updated to abhi and that's why you see two abhis and also you can see the sara as a in the updates uh, you can see like uh, Harry is a new record that's been added, which is not having uh, IDs matching. That means you just insert that, right? If you go and see that it's already inserted in this record, in this uh, students table, right? So that's how you do the merge. And uh, as you can closely observe, there are multiple operations that you can do when when particular usually merge will work on a particular ID columns, right? And uh, it will whenever the id is matching you update or whenever id is matching you delete right whenever id is matching what you do is then update set star that means you are updating the entire row you can enter uh, update entire row or uh, all the columns in the row or you can update a specific columns as well similarly when the when the id is matching and the type is deleted so you just delete the records deleted but and uh, when the id is not matching so then only you will kind of a uh, insert star that means you insert a new record so that so this is very important to understand uh, and this is very handy and uh, very powerful uh, operation that you can do using data tables finally once you do that uh, definitely how do you drop a table right so i just want to drop the table so it's very simple like take a drop table command and then whatever the table you want to drop right and it just simply drops the 
student table and if you kind of query that so it should not be available simple as that so hope it was uh, useful and thanks for watching